everyone, this is Eric, KJ4YZI. Got a brand new piece of gear here. I'm excited to put it on my YouTube channel. This is the MFJ 939 automatic antenna tuner. Okay, and this specifically comes from www.gigaparts.com. The website has, I've ordered several times, they have a great selection of stuff. They have an online chat. If you have any questions about this or about ordering, go online. You can chat with a live rep. I know a lot of the guys in the store and ladies. Hi, Rebecca. Uh, they are amateur radio operators themselves, very knowledgeable about the product. So uh, props to Gigaparts. Um, this is the MFJ 939. Okay, this is the IntelliTuner. And first, let me show you what comes with it and what about it, and then uh, we'll put it on a radio and show you it in action. So. First off, you're going to get a paper. This says, your manual is now online. Because I know there's somebody out there asking, well, where's the manual? It's online. Okay, this is, you want to go online and read this. Go to the website, type in MFJ 939, and you'll see the manual. Uh, for this, you, you don't want to be the guy that says, oh, I had this six months, so I didn't know it did that. In the ham radio world, manuals are a must. I'm going to tell you that right now, all right? So there's the uh, instructions to how to get to your manual. And here is the power cord that it comes with. This is not the typical MFJ power cord wall wart. This actually has the DC jack on one side and the bare wires to attach right to a screw terminal on your power supply, or you can use the supplied banana jack here. If, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you that, or I'll tell you that I've used the power adapter for my MFJ 969, you'll see later. The power adapter does fit. So it's a common voltage, 12 volt, 750 milliamp will fit with this. Okay, if you already have one, you may be able to use it or the power cord comes with it. Now, I ordered the MFJ 939Y, which is for Yesu because it comes with the Yesu cable. Now, there's different models because this tuner can be interfaced to an ICOM, a Kenwood, an Elenco, um, most rather. So this cable here will work with the FT100, the FT450, which is what I have, the uh, FT950, 857, 897, uh, FT1000, FT2000, FT9000, all with this cable, okay? Now, in comparison to an LDG, if you bought an LDG that was uh, specifically for a Kenwood, well, if you decided to go for Yesu, you'd have to get a different tuner. Well, this, you just buy a different cable, and it's never obsolete. You don't ever have to sell it, all right? So, uh, good thing to have the cable that goes with your radio, okay? And for size, this is only 2.4 pounds, metal chassis, very light. Um, in, in comparison, to show you how much of a Yesu fan I am, direct from Yesu, there's my mouse pad, okay? And it's about the same size as the mouse pad. So, not very big at all. If you have an 897 or an 857, even my FT450, it interfaces great. It's nowhere near as big as my M MFJ969. So, on the front, you'll see uh, SWR and tune lights, your tune button, your alt button, and your power, okay? And uh, you'll notice it says 200 watts sideband CW because this is not made for using behind an Maritron AL811. This is for your radio that's 100 watt or 200 watt HF radio. Um, it only requires 2 watts of QRP power so it can tune, but it handles up to 200 watts, okay? On the back, you have your SO239s for your transmitter and your antenna, your ground lug. I recommend putting that straight to ground. Do not daisy chain your ground for your radio, just run it straight to your ground rod. And of course your power jack and your uh, radio interface, okay? This on the bottom says configured for the FT459, 50, and 847, but again, it'll work with others. You'll notice the MFJ939Y, and then there's uh, the MFJ939I, and so on. So get the one that's appropriate for your radio. So, a couple highlights before we put this on the uh, radio. This will tune 6 to 1600 ohms feed point impedance, which is up to like a 32 to 1 SWR. That's, if you have an antenna that's nowhere near resonant, this thing will tune it, okay? Um, it has 20,000 memories built in. So as you use your radio, it learns the frequencies in the SWR, and then it's instantaneous when you switch bands, and you're about to see that right now. Um, it's got 131,000 matching solutions, so you will get the finest tune SWR that you can get. Um, th the competitor will use 32,000 solutions, so this has quite a bit of uh, tuning 
solutions uh, with the capacitance and the inductance and reactance and all that. It'll find your exact tune. So let me show you this on the radios because I know you're wanting to see it. You don't want to stare at the top of it all day. So here we go. We're going to hook it up to the radio and see how it does. All right, so let's see this thing in action. So right now I'm on 10 meters. You can hear the CW. All right. Now, keep in mind, I've had this already on today playing with it, so there's a few memories in there from when I was tuning around, but I'm going to show you here how instant this thing tunes, okay? So, right now I'm in CW mode because I'm not talking into the mic, so I need to have a carrier, so I have it on CW mode, and I'm only putting out 35 watts. The internal antenna tuner is disabled, okay? This is on, and as I hit the PTT button, you'll see it's one-to-one, -one, okay? Now... I'm going to tune down to 12 meters, alright, 24, 930. I hit the button, instant, okay, one to one, alright, that fast. Now I'm going to go down to 40 meters, 7.200, hit the button, done, okay. You can see because I've already operated it there, it already found the match there. Now let's go somewhere, say, well here's uh, 30 meters where I operate PSK, done. Okay, that fast. In perspective, let me show you what happens if I have to use my internal tuner to go across those bands. So I'm going to turn off this one, okay, and I'm going to go to 10 meters. Okay, now watch this. I'm going to hit the button for my internal antenna tuner. One, two, three, okay, three seconds, all right. Sometimes it takes longer depending on how your resonance is on your antenna. But now I'm tuned. But if I go down to, say, uh, 40, 40 meters, and I hit tune, and it takes a good three or four seconds to find a tune. However, watch what happens when I go down here to 3.920. Okay, I'm gonna hit tune. Nothing. It beeps. Okay, and my SWR right now is full. Okay, it's probably 20 to one there. So I hit tune and my internal tuner just won't pick it up. It's flashing, meaning it can't find a match. Now watch this, I'm gonna turn my MFJ on. I got the internal tuner disabled now. The green light comes on, it's ready, I hit the button, done. One to one, all right. My radio internal antenna tuner will not tune that, however the MFJ will. Again, it'll tune a wide range all the way up to like 32 to 1 okay so if your antenna is just not resonant there it's going to tune it to the radio um, and now I go back to 40 meters hit the button done I go up to 12 meters done I go to 10 meters done that fast so I can go from 10 meters to 80 this fast ready watch this Oh, it was, I hit, oh, wrong one. There it is. Okay. So, I can go that fast. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, if I turn this off and I go to my internal antenna tuner, well, we got to wait four seconds here. Now, I got to go down to 12 meters, wait four seconds here. And that's if it finds it. If my antenna wasn't resonant, it may not tune. And I'm going to go down to uh, 10 meter or 40 meters. And waiting. And then go down here to 80. Done. Nothing. Okay. 75, excuse me. I keep saying it. I call it 80. It's actually 75. So, now if you go somewhere, say, in uh, 20 meters, and I turn the internal and tuner, uh, antenna tuner off, I turn this on, and let's say... Um, on 20, now this is based on the resonance of my antenna, it's not resonant everywhere. I hit the button, and see, it only gives me, it's maybe a 1.3 to 1, 1.4 1 to 1. No problem. You hold the tune button, wait till it beeps, let go, now it's a 1 to 1, okay? And now it saved it in there as a 1 to 1. So I go up to 12, and I go back down to done. See? Now it's saved a 1 to 1. So even if even if it can't find the exact one-to-one, -one, the best possible, if your antenna is way off or not resonant, you can manually tune it and then find out, you know, it's a one-to-one, -one, and then next time you come there, it knows. And I'll go back down to 75. Done. 
go back up to 20, done. That fast, okay? And for perspective, let me show you now. I have a MFJ969 Deluxe Versa tuner here, all right? And I love this tuner, if you can see that with the light, all right? However, if I wanted to go from 80 to 10, okay, right now I'm set up for 10 meters. If I wanted to go down to 80, here's what I'd have to do. And a manual tuner is great, but you know, somewhere in the ballpark, you take the roller inductor and you move that down to about 80, 85. Yeah, I know exactly where it is almost. Then we turn and we turn and we turn and we turn and we turn right about 89, 88. Okay, and then we got to move these here like this. And guess what? It's probably not in tune yet. Then I got to key up and play with the roller inductor a little bit to get that right where it needs to be and the antenna right where it needs to be. Now you want to go back to 10? Well, guess what? You're turning this all the way back. All the way back to about there somewhere. And then you'll move these here because I know where they are, where they're supposed to be. And then I'll key up and I'll adjust this and then I'll adjust this right till it's about one to one if I can get a one to one match. Now I know on 75, uh, what I just showed you, the Versa tuner on 75 really doesn't want to pick it up. Alright, so uh, let me get my camera back here, right where it should be, without the cord. Okay, so there you have it. The MFJ plug and play IntelliTuner, eventually you won't even know it's there. It'll learn everything from you and uh, great piece of gear. So. I hope this video intrigued you about this nice piece of equipment here. And thank you for watching. I got some more videos coming up, so stay tuned. 7-3. This is KJ4YZI.